with Futurism at World's Fair Nano out in Brooklyn, New York. And today I'm going to be interviewing scientists working on artificial intelligence, searching for alien life, and a lot more. So definitely stay tuned. Hello, Athena here, and I am with Doug Vakoch. Thank you for joining me. And uh, let's get started. Tell me all about the Drake Equation. What exactly is that? The Drake Equation is a way to estimate how many civilizations are out there in the universe. Is this what you're working on at METI? What exactly is METI? METI is the outgrowth of SETI. So the search for extraterrestrial intelligence listens for radio signals, looks for brief laser pulses. With METI, we reverse the process and send powerful, intentional signals to other worlds in the hope of getting a response. Maybe, in fact, there are a lot of civilizations out there, but they're waiting for us to take the initiative, and that's what METI does. Oh, so this is what probably science would have to say as to why we haven't even heard from alien life yet, right? It could be. You know, it, it's called the Fermi paradox. Enrico Fermi said, if they're out there, why haven't they shown up? Yeah. Well, one possibility is the zoo hypothesis. And that says that maybe they're watching us like we watch animals in a zoo. Yes. Well, um, imagine we go to the Bronx Zoo and we see a bunch of zebras, they're all talking with one another. All very good and interesting, but what if one of those turns straight to you, starts pounding out a series of prime numbers? That's gonna be a very different relationship to that zebra. You may treat it in a different way and that's what we're hoping to get from extraterrestrials. Do you think that we're gonna end up finding like alien life within our lifetime? I think so, and yeah. the reason is technology. You know, when Frank Drake did his first search in 1960, he could look at only one frequency. Now you use something like the SETI Institute's Allen Telescope Array, you can look at billions of different frequencies. My hunch is in the next decade or two, we'll detect extraterrestrials if they're out there and trying to make contact. As exciting as this is, um, I do want to talk about maybe the dangers that would maybe go into this. Absolutely. Um, Stephen Hawking, a brilliant cosmologist, has said, whatever you do, don't transmit. We don't want the aliens to come to Earth. You got to take it seriously. Yeah. But any civilization that does have the ability to travel to Earth could already pick up I Love Lucy. So we have been yeah. sending our existence into space with radio signals for 70, 80 years. Even before then, two and a half billion years, we have been telling the universe that there's life on here because of the oxygen in our atmosphere. So if there's any alien out there paranoid enough about competition, it could have already come and wiped us out. If they're on their way, it's a lot better strategy to say we're interesting as conversational partners. Let's strike up a new conversation.